Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper and this is another video on Raid Shadow Legends. Today we are going to talk about the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss and the Rosh Card Unkillable Comp. Most specifically, we are talking about Magic and Spirit Affinity and some new variations you can use. And it is very important to hear this. This is how you can use Valkyrie in these comps against Affinity and still manage to keep the turn meter and do 40 million plus in damage. Obviously that depends on what champions you have as a whole, but what I've been able to do is over 40 million with both uh, affinities. And as a bonus, I am also gonna show you what the new void, or so void, the new fusion champion, Gurp Tuck Mossbeard. I have him done here, he's ready to go. I'll show you a run with him in place of Doom Priest and what he can do in the clan boss. And I'll give you my overall thoughts on him as a fusion and as a champion. And then hopefully at the very end, you can make some informed decisions and do some new stuff with the Ultra Nightmare clan boss. I hope you have Rosh card. He is a godsend for your Night Ultra Nightmare clan boss. And I'll show you how right now. All right, so let's talk about the champions we're going to use to uh, defeat the Spirit Affinity Clan Boss and also uh, the Magic Affinity Clan Boss. And first off and foremost, of course, we're going to talk about Rosh card. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't want to go too far much into these because I have a video on the Unkillable Comp with Rosh card. You can watch that video for all the masteries and skills, and we talk about the things. But just the, as a basic here, the big thing is 251 speed here. Our nuker, our first nuker is going to be Dracomorph. Dracomorph is going to be at uh, 176 speed. And then 175 is going to be Frozen Banshee. Those are your two damage dealing or nuking champions. Uh, as far as my cleanser, I'm, of course, usually using Doom Priest, who runs at 183. This allows her to cleanse both the stun and, in the case of the Spirit Affinity, it will allow her to cleanse the uh, speed debuff. Uh, of course, we need our... Uh, Grip took so I can show you what he can do. He will take Doom Priest place in the Magic Affinity and also also at 183 to keep that. I just wanted to keep the same speed. I didn't want to try to overthink it. So Grip took has the ability to cleanse on a three turn cooldown. Uh, just so you know how I I I did. I got lucky. Obviously, I nailed the cooldown here. Uh, didn't get this cooldown, which is what you want. You want both of these on three turn cooldowns, and this I, I landed one. So I was one off doing kind of what I think would be a perfect hit. Uh, although I wouldn't mind the extra damage, but honestly, you don't need it. And as long as you don't get that cooldown, which completely ruins him as a champion. And then, of course, like I said at the beginning, we're going to use Valkyrie in this comp. We're going to show you how Valkyrie can be used against Affinity Clan bosses who put up that uh, attack up and therefore kick her out of turn order with the turn meter boost. Uh, and then, of course, her her uh, here's our numbers here. 174 is, of course, the slowest, right? We have 175 Banshee, 176 Draco, 183 of the Cleanser, 251 Rosh card, and 174 of Valkyrie. She's the slowest of them all, and that allows her to do full counterattack, two turns abilities. So uh, before we go on, I do want to talk about Gurptuk and what I think of him as a fusion and what I think about the fusion in general. Most importantly, I want to let you know right off the bat, he is not worth fusing. Uh, it, it's it's painfully obvious, though. I love I love the idea. I love the gumption. I love the 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 brass. I guess I don't know. I just I love that they're trying something different, and I appreciate that they're, they're trying something different with this champion to make a kit that's unique. Unfortunately, it's a kit that just doesn't quite succeed, at least not yet. We can still see him get po uh, get buffed. We can still see future content where he might be needed or more useful. But as it stands now, uh, he is not going to help you with any sort of progression. The only two people that would typically be able to use him are people with late game uh, or late game uh, accounts that uh, don't need him, right? But they could use him because they have great gear. They can substitute him in. But he's not going to do better than anyone. And I will show you a run I did with him against the clan boss, which just kind of emphasizes how he, in even the perfect scenario, just can't quite measure up. Doom Priest actually out-damages him on a personal level, and the team comp does about 5 million more damage than he provides, even though he's doing this, uh, this 7.5 for each poison debuff. Just isn't enough to make it matter. And it's unfortunate, but you know what? 
if you can fuse them and it's not a big deal to your resources, then go ahead. I always advocate for having extra legendaries. You never know. Hey, I had a Sethalia before she was hip. She got buffed. I had a, a, is it Black Knight? Is he the other one? Anyway, I had a couple others that weren't weren't good. Then they got buffed. We all know the story of Draco. He got buffed and now is amazing. We look at Ma Mashalad. He was awful. Now he's a very amazing, very usable champion. So if you can, and it's not going to affect your progression in the game, go ahead and fuse him. But don't fuse him if you expect him to do anything for you. He's just not going to do it. And I think it's more important for you to have those resources spent on things that are actually going to help you through progression if you're an early to mid game player and or you're not spending a lot or aren't looking to spend resources if you're an early game player but you're like hell you know i'm gonna spend a thousand bucks a month go ahead fuse them like don't be afraid if you if it's not going to tax you resource wise so that's my opinion on him that said he can be useful for example if i didn't have doom priest uh I think he would probably rival what I can do with um, with a block debuff champion like uh, a Grizzled Jarl. I think he can rival that combo, maybe even be a little bit better than Grizzled Jarl as far as overall team damage. So, And I, you can still play around with this kit and, and try some different things, and it might still be useful overall. Plus, I mean, this is keeping in mind an unkillable kit, so things like this aren't very important. This could be amazing in counterattack, right? You're, you're, you're popping that continuous heal all the time uh, when your champions are under poison debuffs, and that might extend a, a speed tune uh, or a counter, sorry, a counterattack team. I don't know in, in all scenarios. What I do know is overall, he's just not as good as your other options. Uh, that said... At the end of the video, he'll be the last of the three videos I show you. The first video we are going to show you is the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss uh, Spirit Affinity, and we're going to use um, we're going to use the team with Doom Priest, and I'm going to show you how you can get your your Valkyrie to perform as intended without that speed boost affecting you. And all it takes is a little bit of a manipulation on the order in which you create the uh, the turns. So normally, you take Rosh card, and in turn win, you want to set the turn order by using Zone of Protection. So he uses that in round one. You, you're protected against the first couple AoEs. Then you're vulnerable for the stun. You're vulnerable for one AoE, and then the turn order is properly set. Well, what I did is, well, okay, so it's the, it's the attack up that the clan boss does on turn one that affects everything. So I started with the block cooldown skills, block bluffs, block bluffs stops the clan boss from using uh, or getting the the uh, the buff and therefore valkyrie doesn't get boosted turn meter and that's critically important what i've also found is in subsequent turns if for whatever reason say your the bar was full and i didn't land a block buffs now he can't be resisted but if you already have 10 buffs up he can't put an 11th and that has happened and you will see it in, in both the runs and it doesn't affect the turn order at all so my only what i believe here is, is what i believe the cause is is that first rosh card is trying to hopscotch into the proper turn order and that's why at turn four he's actually going after the clan boss is a1 and then every round afterwards he goes before the clan boss is a1 so that i have been able to test it is only critically important that he lands this on the first turn which he will do every time against spirit and magic because it cannot be resisted it can only be weak hit so uh, this makes it a 100% viable option if you have a Valkyrie and you want to use her as your lead. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to play that for you. I'm not going to speak afterwards. So if there's anything you want to know, any questions you might have about the about the comp, about the game, if you want to help me to help you out, I have a tons of people that are uh, contact me on Discord and ask me for the help, and I do my best to help them all. If you're not sure what's going on and you find that you're falling out of turn order, even though you're following these comps correctly please let me know i'll do my best to help you if you can get a video of it even better but uh feel free the link in the description below for trofly elite i'm part of their clan group so uh you can find me on that discord although frankly i'm part of just about all the major uh streamers discord so you can find me anywhere anyway that that way and just uh fire away the questions so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna play 
I'm going to make the video go. No, I'm just going to do full screen. We're going to play the video. We're going to play the first one where I show you kind of how the, the slight change in turn order. And then we'll play uh, both the Magic Affinity with Doom Priest versus the Vet Magic Affinity versus Gurptuk. And we'll see which one of them reigns supreme. I already ruined it for you. It is Doom Priest. But uh, we'll give you all three runs so that you can make informed decisions about how to build your clan boss. Most importantly, I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it at 500 subscribers. I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. And at 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. So please uh, spread the word. Hopefully, we can get this going and uh, I can give away some cool stuff. And most importantly, be kind to one another. Practice social distancing. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. So normally right here, we would use his... Uh, his a3 but we're going to use the block and there you go so now he can't put up his uh thing he said, said blocked and so now we are taking damage and this is the one thing you have to keep in mind is all your champions have to be able to tank this damage for the initial three turns or uh or obviously it'll fail but we're gonna attack boom and then we're going to take another AoE. But look, the team can handle it pretty well. Doom Priest cleansing those speed debuffs fairly simply. Put the defense down and weaken. Boom. Put up a couple more poisons. Boom. And then the stun's going to go here, right? That's why we need that extra tankiness. She'll cleanse herself. Boom. And then... Um, so I feel like I want to use that, but it's not. I'm going to use this one here. But we can put this. And then there's that AoE one. So now we're at the proper turn order. Turn count is four. Now we're going to put this up. We're going to hit auto. All right, so let's see what happens. I'll meet you on the other side of this run, and we'll talk about... Uh, what we just witnessed mind-blowing
there's no time for regrets I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky We are heroes tonight From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Blindness creep While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire i